I don't know the mayor well, but he's been fairly generous to me in his uh, statements for a while. I will say this. I watched about a year ago when uh, he talked about how the illegal migrants are hurting our city and the federal government should pay us and we shouldn't have to take them. And I said, you know what? He'll be indicted within a year. And I was exactly right, because that's what we have. We have people that use the Justice Department and the FBI at levels that have never been seen before. So I wish him luck. I wish him luck. Good luck to you in your federal criminal trial, sir. That was Donald Trump today reacting to the indictment of New York City Mayor Eric Adams and aligning himself with the guy who just got indicted on federal corruption charges. Trump is attempting to spin Adams' indictment as though it somehow supports his theory that Joe Biden has weaponized the Justice Department against his political enemies. But the truth is that this indictment is yet more evidence that Merrick Garland's Justice Department is pursuing justice for all by bringing charges against high-profile Democrats, including the son of the current president, a U.S. senator, a Democratic congressman in a swing district, and the Democratic mayor of New York City. Joining me now is Washington Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, chair of the Progressive Caucus in the House and a member of the House Judiciary Committee. It is wonderful to see you in it person. It is so good to be in person. It is a very big news day yes. every day. But today in particular, for people who are, you know, have been treated to this paranoid theory yeah. that uh, Joe Biden has weaponized the Justice Department, I kind of wonder, given the number of Democrats that Merrick Garland's Justice Department, Southern District of New York, yeah. have gone after... Yeah. What your thoughts are about the working theory that Trump has about Joe Biden? No, I mean, look, Donald Trump is just going to use whatever he can to make whatever arguments he wants to make for himself. They have nothing to do with truth or facts. And so I think you just have to look at the fact that Merrick Garland has done what the Justice Department is supposed to do, which is separate from it, it, they are not controlled by President Biden. They don't just do what President Biden tells them to do, as Donald Trump did and would do again if he were president. Um, and you see it with the indictments that are coming through. I mean, this is this is not great for Democrats um, in terms of having a, a big city mayor, Democratic mayor um, under, you know, this kind of lengthy what is going to be very lengthy, I think, um, challenges, troubles. I'm trying to find the right word for yeah. you. But, well, criminal indictment, you know, right? And with, with maybe more to come, too. More to come. I mean, and I think that's the that's the challenge here. But I think in terms of, you know, Donald Trump, he's going to try to use this. I think for us as Democrats, yeah. we have to remember that um, our congressional Democrats in particular, those that are running for con congressional seats or incumbents in New York, these are some tough districts here that we need to win yeah. to take back the House. And the thing that gives me comfort is each of these candidates is very good. They are running their own races. And at the end of the day, I think voters will look at them. They won't look at the New York City mayor um, as much as they might try to taint those people with the New York City mayor. And so I think, you know, that's that's what we're going to have to do. Those people are going to have to continue to run their race. Obviously, many of them have already called on on Eric Adams to resign. Yeah. Um, that is certainly, you know, I think what he should do, because he can't run a major city when ha so many of the people around him are also involved in this. There's more to come. That is just I think that's clear. So uh, I am hopeful that it won't ultimately affect our ability to take back the House, which I still feel very good about. As much as it is a challenge for Democrats, it also is an opportunity, given how the Republican Party has reacted to criminal indictments of its uh, stars, I yeah. guess we could say. Yeah. You know, the Republican Party has been, you know, brush it under the rug, abide it, or even pledge fealty. And this feels like an opportunity for Democrats to be the party of truly the party of law and order. I want to draw your attention, everybody who's watching, to Chuck Schumer, Senate Majority Leader. No one is above the law, including the mayor of New York City. The charges are serious and the legal process should play out, should now play out speedily and fairly. Yeah. That's what you want to that's hear should, from a party, that's what right? Should be said over and over again. But look at the Republican Party, the cult party of Donald Trump, who, uh, you know, is a somebody who has actually reveled in 
his outrageousness, including saying what he did during the during the 2016 campaign, right, that he could grab a woman by her private parts on New York City street and he would be able to get away with it. That is what he revels in. And so I do think it is an opportunity for us. Um, at the same time, <laughs> if you asked me, would I prefer that yes. this wasn't happening? Alex? You'd say, I would indeed, say. I would not like to have to deal for with this. For all kinds of reasons, including that this is so serious for the, the city of New York and the, and the residents of New York. Do you, it, it is, you know, it is, it is telling that uh, Donald Trump has the, has the opportunity to attack a big city Democratic mayor, but chooses instead to make his bed with the guy who's under federal criminal indictment. But you noticed what he said. It's always about, does the person support Donald Trump? He said some nice things about me. Therefore, I'm, I'm fine. Does, and you know. he said some very controversial things about migrants in the city. And That's therefore, right. that is the, 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 the banner under which they march together. That's right. And I think the, the challenge here is that, you know, the whole... Um, argument right now that Donald Trump is pushing is a, a horrible one around migrants, around immigration. And it's just unfortunate that Eric Adams had some of those same things. He said some of those same things. And I think it was, uh, you know, I think New Yorkers didn't like it. I think yeah. that is not who New York is. Um, New York is defined by the contributions of immigrants to the city of New York. This is the place, the, the Statue of Liberty. And I think that, um, you know, so this is this is difficult in many ways. Unusual and unlikely bedfellows in federal criminal yeah. indictment uh, company. Uh, Congressman Pramila Jayapal, Chair of the House Progressive Caucus. Great to see you. Great to get your thoughts on this complicated time. I appreciate it.